Hello beautiful and welcome back to the channel. Today I will be showing you how to make a shoe box into this and also I will be showing you how to make these closet separators so everything will be glammed up. Without further ado, let me go ahead and show you. The first thing that you will be needing is some wrapping paper. I bought mine at Hobby Lobby. Of course, you're gonna need a shoe box and a ruler or something to measure with. Uh, after you measure your box, you will be needing some of these Mod Podge and um, at first I thought that Mod, the Mod Podge was not gonna hold well but i was wrong this type of wrapping paper is quite thick just don't use the dollar tree one because that's extremely thin um, and of course i went ahead and used my 40 percent off coupon at hobby lobby so it is very very simple uh, just go ahead and measure up your box one thing that i do suggest is that you work in sections to make sure that everything turns out nice and neat Once I'm done with each section, then I went ahead and used some of these um, diamond wrap from Dollar Tree just to give it more of that bling effect. And I didn't show it here, but I went ahead and applied it on top of the box and over here on the side of the box. And this is what you're gonna end up with. Now for the following DIY, I went ahead and used some of these uh, foam from Dollar Tree and I use a candle holder cap to trace the circles. However, the circles were a little too large for my closet. So I went ahead and used a different container and um, practically just made them um, smaller. And then with my knife, I went ahead and uh, just did an opening like so. And um, before anything, I went ahead and tried it on my closet to make sure that it does fit. And yeah, this was the perfect fit for it. Right after that, I went ahead and wrapped it with the same paper that I used uh, for the first DIY. Then I went ahead and used some Mod Podge. And for the edging, I went ahead and used some of these diamond wrap from Dollar Tree and I went ahead and hot glued it. This is the final result. I hope that you like these DIYs and like always I will see you on my next video. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done it and uh, don't forget to like this video. Hasta la vista. Adios.